God, I wonder what's for breakfast. Guess I'll just have some orange juice. Eat up. Whoa, what do we have here? You got some old fashioned waffles. They look like waffles. I wanna see a clean plate, mister. Well, I guess there's no time like the present to try some old fashioned waffles. it's Molly. Today we're making an old-fashioned waffle recipe and I will post the recipe for you guys down below in the description box so you'll have that. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first thing we want to do is we want to sift our flour, baking powder, and salt together. So here we go. And this is a pretty quick recipe. It's only got a few ingredients. Now set that aside. We need to separate two eggs because we're going to add the yolks and the milk to the flour next. So, and I have chickens, so they lay plenty of eggs for us. Oh, that didn't go well. Oh well. And I got a little bit of yolk in the egg whites, but I think it'll be okay. They should still beat up. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so we're going to set the whites aside. And I'm going to beat my egg yolks a little bit. Okay. And now I'm adding my milk and my egg yolks. Mix this up. It says to beat this thoroughly, then add the melted shortening. And I just melted my shortening in the microwave. Okay, so in goes the shortening. Okay, let's go beat our egg whites. Okay, so I want to beat my egg whites until they're nice and stiff. So this should take a few minutes. All right. So even if you get a little bit of yolk in your egg whites, try to take as much of the yolk out as possible and then still attempt to beat your egg whites. Sometimes they'll still beat up even if there's a little bit of yolk inside them because I got mine to stiff peaks. I had a little bit of yolk, so you never know. It might still work out. All right, let's go fold this into the rest of the batter. Okay, so here goes the egg whites. And I'm just gonna fold these in carefully. Try to retain as much volume. And then these will be ready to cook. Okay, so I've got my waffle iron here. I'm just gonna quickly spray it with some cooking spray. Now, this recipe says it makes four large waffles. I think that just depends on the size of your waffle iron, so I'm not sure how many I'll get out of this. And so I'm just gonna scoop some batter. Hopefully we can get perfect waffles out of this. So just follow your uh, waffle irons directions. We will see how this turns out. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys when all of these are done. got Dan with me and we're going to try these out. So I just topped this with a little bit of salted butter and honey and I stacked them. They were pretty crispy until I stacked them and they got steamed. It tastes like waffles. Pretty solid waffle. So Dan, this is an old-fashioned waffle recipe. Now that's a pretty solid waffle. You could add a little bit of vanilla to it if you want a little bit of vanilla flavoring. But I think it's perfect as is. Mm -hmm. Perfect base, base for whatever you want to top it with. So this recipe comes from A Guide to Royal Success in Baking. This is a baking powder company book, Royal Baking Powder, and it's from 1940. So you're supposed to use Royal Baking Powder with this. I don't know if that's made anymore. I just used whatever I had on hand. But this is their classic old-fashioned waffle recipe and 
that's exactly what it makes. It says it makes four large waffles, and mine made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven waffles. My waffle maker isn't huge, it's small. I got seven waffles out of it, and what I'll be doing is I'll just be putting these in a Ziploc bag so Dan can have them for breakfast throughout the week. Yeah, as long as I have strawberry sauce. Dan really likes that. So Dan, what do you have to say about this? I think they're good. They taste like waffles to me. And serve them right away if you want to be crispy. Don't stack them like I did because the steam will make them not crispy anymore. But right out of the off waffle iron, they're nice and crispy. And they're rather simple to make. You do have to beat egg whites, but it's really no, it's just an extra step. We can make a batch of these for Sunday morning. How long did they take? Hmm, probably about 15 minutes, I'd say. Took me about 15 minutes and um, I mean, my ingredients were set out, obviously. So that was a little bit easier. I was able to just quickly go. But yeah, I'd say about 15 minutes maybe, depending on how many waffles you're making. So That's not too bad. No, it's really not that bad. So I think it's, what are you barking at? You want to try these, Rue? Come here. Oh, here. Yeah, pretty generous treat. <laughs> And they're dog approved. She thought they were delicious. <laughs> but these would be great for like chicken and waffles. I've never had chicken and waffles, but everybody likes it. Any final thoughts, Dan? <laughs> they taste like waffles. You know what I like about these more than what I like about other ones I've eaten? What? So I could taste a lot more of the raw ingredients than the other ones. Oh, really? So these have a more, a better pulled together flavor? Yeah, I don't like because. The other ones usually like I can taste the like some of the ingredients. I can't do that with these. I've noticed that with some waffles that call for oil in the recipe, I can taste the oil. I've noticed that. Um, whoa, uh, I can taste the oil, and with these, I think because we use melted shortening, I can't taste it. So I kind of I do like mm. that better. I noticed that when I first tasted these, that's what I noticed. Dan thinks they're a cohesive waffle, flavor-wise. So there you go. All right, well, Dan approved, dog approved, and Molly approved. What more can you ask for? Well, if you like this content and you want to see more vintage recipes like this old-fashioned waffle recipe, then subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Wednesday, sometimes on Friday, and Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage recipes. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.